Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another game make tutorial by Rex Furry. Let's start by getting this out of the way here. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add sound effects and music in your games. And uh, I'm not really going to be showing you how to create them, uh, just basically how to add them. And uh, just kind of uh, basically get them in your games and stuff. And uh, I'm not going to be showing you really much like how to apply them to, um, to basically actions and objects and stuff. Um, because that's kind of like a whole different thing. But uh, I will be showing you basically how to use them and the basics of them and basically to get started um, so you can add them and stuff to your uh, objects and such. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and begin. All right, so the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to go ahead and obviously load a sound effect. All right, so I'm just going to hit the um, little, uh, little icon here that says create a sound. All right, and we get this little uh, box here. And normally this will be called uh, sound zero, I believe, by default. Um, I was just tinkering around with it uh, before I did this uh, recording. So yeah. Anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and hit load sound here, and basically this is just the um, little um, uh, selections I g or selection options I guess that you have here um, that Game Maker provides when you download um, when you download the program or whatever. All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a random sound here, and you guys can't really hear what it the uh, what it sounds like unless I play it. Um, but so let me let me go ahead and play one for you here. Um, do, 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 do. I'm just gonna do. Let's see, maybe a fanfare. All right. Okay, hang on a second. All right, let me see if you, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this, but um, yeah. All right, and it just keeps looping and looping and looping. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm just gonna see what this one is really quick. Okay, I think I'm gonna go for the first one. <laughs> All right, and I don't know if you guys could have heard that um, or did hear that or whatever. Um, you guys might have not have heard it, but oh well. Um, it's not really ne uh, necessary for the tutorial, and of course you guys can hear it when you guys are at home and doing this and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and rename this really quick, and you don't have to rename it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and rename it really quick, and I'll name it uh, Fan, or actually I'll name it S N D for sound underscore fanfare all right there we go and as you can see um, I'm using game maker pro currently so there's um, some of these options are um, basically able I'm able to use some of these options here um, if you have game maker light you won't be able to use all of these options here you will just be able to be I believe use the um, the volume and the pan which um, I'll explain what those are in a second here all right so if you're using game maker light um, pretty much all you're going to uh, basically want to do is either keep it on normal sound or use the multimedia player. It, like basically if it's not, if you're using normal sound and you press the play button here, which basically um, plays the sound. Um, there we go, I don't know if you can hear that. But uh, anyway, and this is stop sound, so you can basically play um, what you are, uh, what you just loaded. And um, so if it basically when you press the play button, if it's not, if you can't hear your sound that you've just chose after a couple seconds, uh, j and you're using Game Maker Lite, just use or just go to the uh, use multimedia player and it should play. And make sure you have preload checked as well. All right. Okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is um, you can actually go ahead and save the sound too as well. Um, but I'm not gonna really do that. So, but just to let you guys know. All right. And so for the effects here, if you have Game Maker Pro. Um, you can go ahead and check one of these, and it will the sound that you're using will change a little bit, and hopefully you guys can hear this. Uh, hang on, let me turn my audio a little bit here. 45. All right, so let me go ahead and play this and see if you guys can hear it. All right, so here's the regular sound before it's changed. All right, and here's the sound when I click chorus. So not much of a change there. Let's go ahead and uh, check Flanger as well. See what happens. All right. So as you can see, the sound kind of goes in and out a little bit. Um, if you can't hear the sound on uh, on this tutorial or whatever, um, then you know it doesn't really matter because you guys can always do this um, at your own computer or whatever. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck those because I'm not really gonna want them right now. All right. And the volume is basically um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's basically how how high or how low you want the sound um, to be. 
And the pan is like basically if you're wearing like earphones or like uh, headphones or whatever. If you have the pan over here this side, you're gonna hear it more on the left earbud. If you have it more on this side, you're gonna hear it more on the right. All right. I'll just go and put that back in the middle there. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and hit OK. Keep everything just pretty normal. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add, create an object. I was gonna say add an object, <laughs> but anyway. Um, and I'll just name this OBJ uh, Sound. You can name it whatever you want, though. All right. So anyway, I'm um, just gonna go ahead and keep it for so it has like no sprite because we don't want that. Okay. And just gonna go ahead and add event. And let's see. There's there's a lot of different ways you could do this, but I'll just do. Um, let's see. I'll just do create. So when this object is basically created in the room, uh, which is basically as soon as the game starts. I'm just going to go ahead and go to the main one tab here, and as you can see, we have a three different sound options here. We have a check sound, a stop sound, and a play sound. Okay, so I'm just going to click and drag over the first one that says play sound. All right, and I'm going to choose where it says no sound. I'm going to choose the uh, fanfare by just simply clicking in the blank space or on this little tab or button here and choosing my sound, which is SND underscore fanfare. And the loop. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep it false because it isn't like a like a uh, like a like a music track or whatever to a level or anything. Basically, what looping is also for, uh, for those of you who don't know is looping is if if the uh, if the sound keeps going over and over and over. So let's say the sound is going and the sound stops because like that's the end of the sound. If you um, check looping true, then it will go backwards and like basically rewind itself and keep going and going and going and going. But since I just chose a regular sound, I'm just going to have it false. So it just goes, and that's it. Okay. And do I'm going to go ahead and... You know what? Actually, I'm going to change this really quick. I'm going to go to um, key press, and I'm going to go do, 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 do space. All right, so whenever I press space, the fanfare sound is going to play. All right? And I'll hit OK there. I'm going to go ahead and create a room here. All right, and objects, OBJ sound, just place it anywhere in your room. All right, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a smaller or uh, different window at least here, um, just so you guys can get the whole view or whatever of the game. And just for, uh, so the game doesn't look so boring, just go ahead and change the background here to like a nice orange. There we go. All right, so I'll see you guys in just a second here. Let me just go ahead and switch windows. All right, we're back, and let me go ahead and get this out of the way. All right, so here we have our blank room, and um, that's the way it's supposed to be. So if you uh, run the game or whatever just to test and it's all blank, don't be worried because this is what it's supposed to do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit space here, and when I do, our sound that we've chose should play, and then it should stop after it's done. So let me go ahead and test this here. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and press space. All right, and there we go. We got the sound. And if I if I keep pressing space, it should just keep going like and just keep going on and on and on until we stop pressing uh, pressing space uh, like this. All right, so I pressed it like three times right there, and as you can see, it just kind of overlapped the sound. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's basically um, pretty much how to work the sounds. Actually, there's not really a lot to sounds. Um, there are those other two sound options back there, but n I, you don't really um, I guess you're not really going to use those too often. At least I don't. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how to use sounds. And, um, I mean, you can see, um, basically if you want to apply music in your game so it would, like, keep running and running and running, or playing and playing and playing, um, as your character was moving around or whatever, you would just want to choose, like, the sound or the music that you wanted. And, um, instead of the loop being false, you'd want it to be true. So it would keep going over and over and over, so it would never stop. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess, for sounds, and, yeah. So, sorry for not making any tutorials for, like, um, ever, <laughs> I guess. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've just been really busy lately and haven't had the time. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I hope, you ha uh, hope this helps you in your game creating. And uh, feel free to subscribe for uh, to my channel for upcoming video updates and such. And, uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys uh, later. Please feel free to comment and rate this video as well. And, um, yeah, hope you guys are having a great day, and see you guys next tutorial.